Now, a technique we have to help us envisage the future is called Futures Wheels. This is where we start with an idea and we try to diverge our thinking. A lot of our thinking in schooling and in academia is about convergent thinking. Where we try to make things more and more specific. Futures thinking is about making things more and more generalizable. Um, thinking about how things interrelate with one another and making it more and more complex rather than trying to simplify our thinking. So to start with that process, place your ideas in the, on the center of a piece of paper or computer screen. Um, <coughs> and around that, we put what are called first order effects. So let's take chat GTP as an example. Some of the effects that that may have is it may increase um, students writing. So they're producing more work than they've done before. So it may not be necessarily all their own work as much, but they're, they're being more productive. Then we put, and we try to think of as many of those different ideas that have a direct effect from that educational technology and put those around in a circle. Then we look at second order effects and put those around. These are caused by the first order effects. And then the second order effects can also have impact upon what we call third order effects. So let's take our example of um, students writing more. So one effect of that might be that they might start reading more. If they're able to produce writing that uh, they are interested in, particularly say for reluctant readers, um, so it might be about um, a particular movie theme or game and that they're interested in, but it's always been too difficult for them to write a lot about that. But now they've got generative text tools that allow them to write about those tools much more effectively. So a second order effect may be that they start reading more. Of course, they're now able to produce reading material that is tailored specifically to their interests. So that would be a second order effect. And then a third order effect may be that this could then relate to other things that they're learning about. So let's say they're learning about history or about um, geography. Now that they can produce their own written material and they're interested in reading it, they may produce their own material set in an historical period that they're learning about or set in a particular location or particular peoples um, that they're learning about. So we may have third order effects that are impacting upon their learning of other subject areas. So this is where we look at how things start interrelating with one another. So we start with our initial idea and we try to make as many of these pathways out that we can. And this is um, divergent thinking so we can start exploring lots and lots of different possibilities and how they interact with one another. So I'd like you to give that a go. Start with a educational technology, then look at the first order effects of that technology, then the second order, then the potential third order, and see how that gives you a greater understanding of what the future might be like as a result of that educational technology, and share that onto Teams.